The eighth largest business district in the U.S. is located right here in the Bayou City. Hey, I'm Colleen Fell and welcome to this Forgotten Day in Houston presented by Greenwood King Properties, a place to find your home. In this episode, we're exploring the history of the Texas Medical Center, which employs more than 100,000 people, has performed 13,000 heart surgeries and counting, and delivers babies at a rate of one baby every 20 minutes. In late September 1943, a headline in the Chronicle declared, Texas takes long strides to safeguard health. Citing a growing economy and an increasing need for health care, David Botter wrote that steps were already being taken to meet these new challenges. Thanks in part to an endowment by the MD Anderson Foundation, Houston was on its way to becoming home to the largest medical complex in the world, the Texas Medical Center. In 1914, Houston oil man and philanthropist George Herman died and his long funeral procession was attended by large crowds. He left a will and trust that included the money and land to build Herman Hospital, which opened in 1925. At the time, Herman Hospital was the only building on the future site of the Texas Medical Center. The hospital's Spanish-style architecture is still recognizable today, but the building no longer stands alone. The original hospital is now called Colon Pavilion, and the land around it is now home to the Texas Medical Center, a massive medical city. As new buildings have risen over the years, so have the groundbreaking medical achievements. In 1960, Dr. Denton Cooley performed one of the first heart transplants in the U.S. at the Texas Heart Institute. Eight years later, Herman Hospital's Life Flight became the first private hospital air ambulance service. In 1971, Texas Children's Hospital collaborated with NASA to create an isolator bubble for a boy born with a severe immune disorder. And in 2012, the same hospital delivered the Perkins sex tuplets, the only surviving sex tuplets in Texas. The Texas Medical Center family also continues to grow. In April of 2018, Texas Medical Center President Bill McKeon, along with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, unveiled plans to build a new research and innovation campus called TMC3, opening as early as 2022. Not only will the project make Houston an international hub for biomedical innovations, it is also expected to have a multi-billion dollar economic impact. Greenwood King knows Houston history and the nuances of each neighborhood. If you're looking for a place to find your home, visit one of their three convenient office locations in the Houston area. You can also go to greenwoodking.com where you'll discover the exciting possibilities waiting for you in your new community. I'm Colleen Fell and thanks for watching.